Um, MIRA, which stands for Mid Coast Regional Redevelopment Authority, um, its mission its mission is to implement the master reuse plans uh, for for the Naval Air Station Brunswick and the Topsom Annex, uh, which were developed over an 18 month period uh, from 2006 through December of 2000, 2007. Um, our other our purpose is to manage the transition of the base properties from military to civilian uses. Uh, we also have the legal authority to apply for designation as a port of entry uh, and a free, free trade zone. The town is going to get about 1,200 acres of open space and recreation properties. Uh, they're going to, the, the town's going to get the uh, recreation hall, and the town is going to get the, the indoor shooting range. Those are properties that the town will own. The remaining property um, we will we'll be seeking an economic development conveyance on through, through the Navy. And those properties, over time, will be sold, will be sold. Um, to, to the private sector. Um, which is unmanned aerial vehicles. And the reason I want to name that out loud, um, and I have no idea if you, it's been in the paper, so I'm assuming it's public enough to talk about. But what it is really is, setting aside the specifics of that, is the issue of um, residents who either support or do not support a particular industry or business coming in, we need to know if there's a way to, be, to have some impact. We did a community survey. Um, the unmanned aerial vehicles are part of part of the aerospace industry and a growing part of the aerospace industry. I know some people have different opinion on what, what all that means. If five members of this board disagreed with your decision, we would have absolutely no recourse to uh, stop you from going ahead with that. Is that correct? That's correct. The decision is ours. People around the state are very interested and have opinions about the proposal to create an unmanned aerial vehicle flight test center at the Naval Air Station. Uh, UAVs or drones cost millions of dollars each. They have names like Predator, Reaper, Shadow, Global Hawk. They're being used for surveillance and they're outfitted with Hellfire missiles for offensive purposes. And today they're being flown over Iraq, Afghanistan, and Pakistan by pilots sitting in front of computer terminals at bases inside the United States, places like Creech Air Force Base outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Military satellites link the drones to the pilots back in the United States with only a two second delay. The drones have cameras mounted on them and the pilots sitting back at the US in front of the computer screens push a button and the missiles are fired. In the past year, hundreds of civilians have been killed when they were gathered at weddings and funerals and even in their beds at night by these Hellfire missiles fired from these drones, these UAVs. We don't want these drones being tested at Brunswick Naval Air Station. We don't want our community to become a test zone for these killer drones. In the past two months, two of these drones have crashed while on missions in Iraq. In the nation of Wales, where a similar test center has recently been opened, a drone crashed just days ago. Because of intermittent communications and loss of contact arising from terrain shielding and the absence of onboard pilots to deal with emergency situations, they will not be immune to crashes. It would be like your cell phone temporarily being out of reception range. About 170 acres will go to Bowdoin College. We have the community college and the university, which has a campus. About 650 acres, I think, make up the airport. And so when you take that and subtract that from the 3,200 acres, that's what you have left to develop. And uh, that is what we hope, I hope, personally, living in this community, uh, that, uh, you know, over a 10-year period from the time the base closes, we can redevelop it and we can sell it off. Yes. And we I have been working in a pro-peace capacity uh, I would go so far, I'm, I'm a social service employee, I'm a social worker, and I would, I know you said earlier that you can be sued. Um, I will say, and this is not in any way meant to be disrespectful, but as a citizen 
who feels that their state and their town is being hijacked, that if this motion goes forward, um, then I would take legal action as a citizen, that you are taking away certain rights that I have. Um, I have a few questions about um, the use of the airspace. As a pilot, I d uh, and I was just amazed that it's going to be an uncontrolled airport yeah. uh, with unmanned aerial vehicle testing in a populated area like Brunswick, this close to Boston. These things can stay in the air for 24 hours. If the vehicles are unmanned, the civilian pilots have to watch out for this, and it's going to be their responsibility. And when they, general aviation uses this facility, are they going to really want to come here and come into the same airspace? Doesn't make much sense. Uh, the idea of having a resort hotel and a UV, UAV testing site, wow, wow. A bunch of, have two college campuses on the same site as UAV testing? Uh, the security issue alone, if it's a private company, who's going who's gonna to provide security for this? It would be national security. Is it going to be Blackwater? Just think about wh who's going to control this interface between these two uh, forms of aviation and what it's going to mean for the Midcoast region. Is this vacation land? I've had someone talk to me, but I've seen nothing active. I've seen a no, no real proposal. Uh, I've not seen anybody come on the base to to walk through like other people who are very serious about the uh, their efforts and to redevelop the base or come on to it as a business entity. And uh, and I just want you to know that the people up here on this board, but for me, because I get paid as commissioner, are all volunteers. I remember when I was House Majority Leader, and I led the effort for the anti-war resolution. I can assure you that DOD funding of this effort is not going to have any impact whatsoever on our thinking about what we do or what we bring in redevelopment of the base. I applaud you for your passion. I just think in some respects, and I think you have the right to come speak before us, but I just wanted to let you know, I don't think anybody on this, this authority, I don't think they're... Um, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think uh, they have any questions in their minds about doing the right thing. And I also want you to know there's nothing pending. Global Index of Peace. And I want you to guess, out of 144 nations that have been, have been rated, ranked, according to 23 indicators uh, concerning tranquility, which include things like um, homicides, war, terrorism, and on and on, number of people in jail. I want you to guess where we are. 83. My God, we have an opportunity with this base. I can't imagine how many jobs, anyway, could be f created by testing drones. So I can't imagine this has anything to do with jobs. It seems to me that we have the opportunity here, and I heard you talk about the fact that there are a lot of renewable energy things going to happen. Why let the drones be part of that? As I understand the statistic, it's 50 to 1 right now. 50 civilian lives lost to one combatant when a drone is the weapon. I've been heartened to learn that the drone situation is not on the table. The reason I came here tonight is I am a grandmother and I have a picture of a little girl who is eight years old. Her dad is holding her in his arms. He is, he is distraught with grief. The little girl's leg has been blown off, only hold by a little piece of skin. She has on a fluffy, Lavender sweater. She has beautiful curly dark hair. Those people grieve for their children as much as we do. We 
must use the base. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is emotional. But if I don't speak out, the blood of those children are on my hands. Thank you for being here and letting me know that there won't be drones. I'll, I'll believe you. But if, but if it turns out not to be true, I'm going to join somebody and sue you. Thank you.